I don't know if y'all know this, but my in-laws live right next door to us and we are taking a trip to Seattle because it's getting to be like 110 degrees here in Arizona. So we're getting in an RV and we're going. And right now we are about to discuss how we're gonna get there and where we're gonna stop. I don't know how this is gonna go. I don't know if you've ever traveled with your uh, in-laws, but it can go good or it can go bad. We are currently discussing our driving uh, route from Phoenix to Seattle. And you know, while most of us in this world, we use Google, these lovely folk pull out the old school map. So let's yeah. go, what you got for me? Mesa to Salt Lake City. Okay. Salt Lake City to Pendleton. Mm -hmm. Pendleton to Seattle. Okay. Three days time. And how do you feel about that, Mom? Um, I'm pretty much along with that, other than it should be south of Salt Lake. I think your first day out is going to be educational. Now here's the thing, I've never been, I've been in their RV once, but I've never done this whole situation. I've ever slept really in a little cramped campground with RVs with other people within. How close are the other people? Uh, they're, depends. They're, the, the, the sites are probably 20 feet wide. Ladies and gentlemen, there it is. The Cruise America RV that me and the fam will be taking to Seattle. Hmm. Who's that handsome young fella? Oh, it's your favorite Shanti. So, what's today? Wednesday. We leave in less than 24 hours. I hate packing. I kind of just like sitting here. I'm on the floor in our closet. This is the dreaded closet. I'm gonna try and give myself 30 minutes to pack as much as I can, and hopefully I'll be done. Who thinks I'm gonna do it? I don't even think I can do it. It's like getting ready for a really hard workout. This one is cooking something very special in the crock pot, which is from our Move for Food course. And then later I'm gonna make it and dump it in some vegetable broth and create vegetable soup. It's good as So in order to eat as healthy as possible on this trip, what we decided to do was do one of our Move for Food dishes. We're gonna cut that in half, not cut it in half, but I'm gonna take half of that I'm gonna put it in my pot because I'm gonna add a bunch of veggies here since we've been in the quarantine life. We buy a lot of frozen things, so I'm gonna add some broccoli, tons of squash, green beans, peas, sweet potatoes, cauliflower rice, and I don't know if we're gonna add regular rice in there or not. I'll show you what it looks like when we're done. Uh, basically, we're gonna put in a bunch of Tupperware so as we go along the road, we don't gotta stop and eat at the gas station because I ain't going to no restaurant because I'm still quarantining right in that moving house. Are you ready to go in the moving house? Yeah. Okay. I'm excited. You're excited about what? I'm excited about the moving house. Oh, I'm so happy you're excited. Yeah. Are you excited too? Yeah, but Dada, Dada, we're gonna go in the moving house. Are you excited about going in the moving house? Honestly. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. I mean, it's another adventure. What are you guys looking at? Are you going to like a um, moving house? And Sander, where are we going to in the moving house? To Seattle. Are you guys excited? Yeah. yeah. What are you doing? I have a toothbrush. You know that's dead as toothbrush. We have to pack that when we go to Seattle. Yeah, I'm packing your suitcase because everyone needs clothes when we get into the moving house. We're gonna travel up north to Seattle. Well, as you can see, the family is pretty excited. I do have to repack this suitcase though. But in just a couple of days, we will be leaving. So stay tuned for this adventure. It's gonna be super fun, super exciting. And who knows what's gonna happen along the way, except for the TikToks that I'm gonna make my family do.
and traveling with toddlers is gonna be a nightmare.